Well, the bill was introduced today. It's called the Congressional Self-Defense Act. Uh, understanding that capital police resources are limited and that uh, to a very large degree their activities are limited to the Capitol Hill complex area. Seems to me that congressmen, since we're high profile targets for lone wolves, uh, bad guys, uh, m Muslim terrorists, the whole works. We need to be able to defend ourselves. And in Washington, D.C., right now, we can't. What's the argument against your bill? Why, what is, I, I'm assuming that the, the opposition comes almost entirely, if not entirely, from the Democratic side of the aisle. There is no logical argument against it. Some people are saying, by way of example, well, gosh, you know, if the general public doesn't have this right, then congressmen shouldn't either. Well, I want the general public to have this right. I, I sponsor, uh, co-sponsor reciprocity bills uh, that would allow the general public to have that right. But that doesn't mean that because you can't get something better that you shouldn't get something good. It's about like arguing, well, the general public doesn't have Secret Service protection. Why should the president? Mm -hmm. the, the, the general public doesn't have Capitol Police protection 24 hours around the clock. Why should the Speaker of the House or the Majority Leader of the Senate have that kind of protection? And so you do what you can uh, when you do it. And, and I hope that the House will allow a vote on the bill. And I think if it does, we'll get a favorable report. Well, I don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, as a matter of fact, for, uh, for uh, throughout the country and for uh, our viewers who don't know, there has been a, a trending rise in states that are allowing folks to carry without permits. Uh, you know, so I think that if, if the trend is your friend on Wall Street, as they say, I, I think that you, you, you may be on the right side of something here. Well, I hope so. Uh, all I know is the experience that I had last Wednesday uh, and going over it uh, in my mind, I don't know if you know uh, where I was positioned, but I was positioned in front of the third base dugout um, towards the home plate side of it, pretty close to where the shooter was. And I was able to make my way from the third base dugout area um, to the third base side of home plate into the first base dugout without getting shot. Um, I think that's perhaps in part because of the angle the shooter would have had to have taken to shoot through the chain link fence mm -hmm. uh, to turn a gun. Um, 50, 60 degrees to his right through that chain link fence might have been uh, cumbersome. Also because the shooter was focused on hitting people in the third base shortstop, second base right field arena, and that's where his focus was. But what I'm getting at is this. If I could have made my way to the first base dugout, I could have also made myself my way back to the third base dugout with that pistol in hand, and myself or another congressman uh, could have done that. And that congressman would have been in a position to surprise the shooter and take him out before we had more wounded. 